Hey guys, I'm Chef Wong of Fiery Pot Kitchen, and today I would show you how to prepare, make, and bake two loaves of white bread. The way I would, would bake these, so I'll show you how to bake these today, would be by having these bread rise once. In other words, I would be cutting out most of that extra time where it comes to uh, rising your bread at one stage, then you roll it out and you mix it again, and then you pan it, then you have it rise again. One hour, two hours. I cut that down to about an hour. And most of you housewives are getting ready to be wives. All you bakers, watch this video and you would see how to prepare bread rolls, bread and bread rolls in a more easy way, but the end results will always be the same. These two bread that I would be making today, I would be using two different type yeast. The two different type yeast I'd be using would be the active yeast and the rapid yeast. If you can see this one of these is yeast. The two different types how to. It shows you that, say for instance, the active yeast. It's showing you, say for each package, simply dissolve a quarter cup of warm liquid to about 100, 110 degree Fahrenheit with one teaspoon of sugar to activate the yeast. Then you go ahead and you follow your instructions your recipe to make the bread. The rapid yeast will show you, you read the instructions, this one it tells you simply add to dry ingredients then follow your recipe. In other words, this one is telling you that you need to in a separate pan or bowl you need to put a package of yeast, a teaspoon of sugar and the liquid quarter cup of water and then you have to dissolve that and let that activate or rise a bit. The next stage would be into adding it to the ingredients, mix it for five minutes and then you have to take it out and let it proof. I'm talking about the active yeast now. Let it proof for about an hour. Then after that you knock it back. Then you can form them into the roll, place it in the pan and let that rise again before you can bake it. But in this case, I would be using both of these yeasts, and both of them I'd be using in the using them in the same the same way. The one that wanted to take about an hour, two hours, and this one would have everything would be a shortcut to making the bread. And I would see at the end what the results would be. So let's get started. First, I would start off by mixing the active yeast. What I have to do is, um, and I've used also just in plain water. As you can see here, all of my ingredients for both bread has already been weighed out. This side here, have the flour, oil, salt, sugar, the yeast. On this side here, I'll have used milk, the flour, I haven't weighed out as yet, oil, salt, sugar, and the yeast. So now that I'm getting ready to make the bread, the first dough, by using the active yeast, the first step, to get this together we would have to, in each case, 
we have to heat this water and one in this case I would be using a microwave that I would heat this to about 100 and 510 degree by use punching on the microwave one minute and 30 seconds so let's do that now the next we would add all of these ingredients first we'll add the yeast see I wouldn't follow this recipe I just follow the recipe where I mix all the ingredients together and let the bread proof once instead of three times before you add your salt sugar Mix this up a bit and we add our flour. Mix this up. on the stove you would have to have a thermometer that you would be able to test the water. The reason why you need to test the water to make sure it's not too hot or not too cold is if it's too hot the hot liquid will kill the yeast. If it's too cold then the yeast wouldn't come alive. So you have to make sure we in between that one hundred degree and one ten. Now I'm going to test this and so this has risen right over a hundred. Next we would add the oil. I will add into the water. And we mix this on medium speed for about five minutes. goes the liquid While that is mixing, I would go ahead and measure out five cups of flour, and this will be used for the next loaf that I'll be making. And the proper way to measure out flour. It's not proper to do it this way because you will end up having more than a cup. So you have to measure with something else and fill the cup. That's one.
Now this one I would use two cups of milk. So we will take this out, roll this, Now we will just turn this up a bit. We just let this proof one time. Now in this case, this bread, when this proof, this should rise above this fan. So normally, 
some recipes called for covering this, but in this case, I won't cover it. I'll just leave this open and let it rise in it for about an hour. That one I'll set aside. Then we'll move on in dealing with the next. Okay, now we will start the other loaf by doing the same procedures. We add the yeast. What I would suggest if you decide to try this recipe is to make up your missile plus or that if you start you know how these mixed together or already have them made out, portion out, the chances are you could make a mistake by leaving on something. So the dog you have them set up, then you know you just have to add what you have prepared already. So I just start this. And we would add oil into the The difference I get it would be that should be a little off white. If you see what it does, it is. So if 
this video has been of any interest to you, you can click on the subscribe button, leave a comment, and click on the bell so you can be notified of any other content that I release. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. My next video will be... Nowadays, we will just let this proof for about an hour. Then we would add some egg wash to the top and bake in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes. I wouldn't, I just leave these open. I wouldn't cover these 